You never know what you'll find in a New York City apartment. A hungry coyote, a fox with its latest kill, a baby seal hoping to elude a predator. Well, that didn't work out so well. And let's throw in one live cat. This one is named Monkey. I'm Joyce Wadler. I write about homes. I recently got a tour of the lower Manhattan loft of Arnie Svensson and his longtime partner, Charles Burkhalter. That little dog is truly bizarre. Cute, though. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Arnie's a photographer whose work can be found in galleries across the country. <laughs> Charles is an interior designer, but the space is filled with Arnie's taste for funhouse artifacts and antique animal dioramas. Arnie's kind of dominated the, um, the design here, it, it seems well, to me. Well, I like to think that I kind of set the space and created the space, and then Arnie filled it up. You go into a store and there's a wallaby in a box, and how do you not walk out without it? It's been his excuse all <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> Arnie is not a hunter. These animals are long dead. Arnie just likes the stories they suggest. I got started years ago. I was in Nantucket and found a, and I had never really thought about dioramas, found one in an antique store. And I just thought that the whole enclosed world that it created was fascinating to me. And I started thinking about the artists that made this and the artistry of, of trying to replicate nature and absolutely failing, it was somehow compelling to me. There are things in this apartment you're just not going to find in Pottery Barn. You're a designer. Right. Uh, what is your design tip? What do you do when your partner says, I have fallen in love with, uh, what is that, a desk with camel, camel legs? legs? You thank <laughs> him. Which we... <laughs> I mean, how do you, I could say how do you, you grin and bear in? it, but you just, you know, these are things that he loves, and so you find a place in your home for them. But when Monkey finally, you know, goes off to kitty cat heaven, would you consider having her stuffed? Have you thought about it? Oh, I have thought about it, um, and I wouldn't. I think I'm too attached to her. I, I, don't, I don't have an attachment, an emotional attachment to any of these animals. And I think it'd be, I shudder to use the word creepy, um, creepy to have our own cat who I wasn't the love. too. <laughs> yeah, Charles is my, Charles tried to write it into our wills. That I that, could be stuffed and the lawyer thought I was joking and I said, I'm dead serious. Mm -hmm.